the other day one uh, very senior orthopedic surgeon in Madras, very famous name, he t uh, phoned me up and said, I want you to examine me. I said, okay, come. Then he came with a file, which is about this thick, uh, from National Hospital in Singapore. He said, see, they have done all that and they have given these medicines, but I am not feeling better. I said, I must examine you. He said, what do you mean? They have examined me. See this whole file there? I said, I don't know. I am not treating that file. I am treating you, Mr. So-and-so or Dr. So-and-so. He said, are you serious? Yes, sir. I said, I am absolutely serious. Strip, strip down, take off your shirt, lie down, and I'll examine you. I examined him for about half an hour, and didn't ask for any test, and I told him, you don't require any one of these medicines. Throw them into the waste paper basket, and I'll give you one medicine, you'll be all right. And he is much better, and he's absolutely fine now. Now, he went and told his wife, who is also a doctor, that man examined me like a third-year medical student. She said, yes, that's the right thing. We were all taught like that. Do you have you forgotten that? Our teachers used to do that. That's called clinical medicine. That has died. At the end of the clinical medicine, you must have a diagnosis. And to refute that or to confirm that, you do one or maximum two tests. That's all what is needed. So, you know, once, a, once in a year or once in two years, I just get my blood sugar done. And I sh in case, you know, I don't know, I, I'm not a diabetic, but in case I should be a diabetic, I just get a blood sugar done. And I also get a creatinine done to see if my kidney is uh, okay, is up and running. So these, uh, these kind of things, one or two tests, but today if you go, my God, fat profile, I believe, 100 things, LDL, HDL, ABCDL, it's caste system, like, you know, this Christias, Levitius, that, that kind of a thing. And now, very interesting thing, this week, yesterday, somebody sent me from America a data which said American associations of doctors have declared 12 things not to be done in medicine because they are not only not needed, they can be dangerous. One, this uh, TMT test should not be done because it's not reliable at all. It's specificity and sensitivity less than 50%. Two, coloroscopies. Everybody goes after 50. If you say, you know, I have got some tummy ache, the doctor will ask you to lie down and then put a tube behind at your bottom and then look through you. And in this process, he can even puncture the gut and give you a lot of problems. And this says, does not help the patient at all. On the contrary, it can detect unnecessarily simple things which are made into big things and operated upon. So that's the second thing. Like that 12 things are there. If any one of you is interested, I'll send the whole uh, list to you for your EMA, and you can circulate to your members. Do not go to the doctors to get these 12 things done. Even, even it says, you know, operating on a womb, pregnant woman before the 39th week, for simply by saying that the child may be big, the child may come out, uh, is not good because the child will not survive. Even if it survives, it's not uh, a healthy child. So, lot of these things, 12 things are there. So we do lot of things. We overdo lot of things, which should not be done. So medicine is not a very complicated thing. Medicine is a very simple thing. Now, the, who is the boss in the whole human body? The mind. And if you know how to control your mind, you can control your body, you can control your health, you can control probably the whole family, everything. And I always say, mind your mind, and it will look after the other things. Now, a block in the coronary artery does not give you heart attack. An American doctor called Valentine Fuster did a study in New York where he did an angiogram on healthy 100 people and showed a lot of blocks and wrote down, if this man were to get a heart attack, he should get a heart attack here because his artery is blocked. And after about 15 years, he saw a few of them had heart attack, but none of them, none of them, mark my words, none of them had a heart attack where there was a block. So heart attack comes when the mind is un unstable. Heart attack comes when the mind is filled with hatred. Heart attack comes when the mind is not in peace and heart attack comes when the mind is agitated. So keep your mind under control. Even with all the vessels blocked, you will still be healthy. I had a patient about 40 years ago, at which time he was 50 years old, and his children brought him to me. And he had gone to Bombay for a checkup, and they had done an angiogram. All the vessels in his heart were blocked. <laughs> Every single vessel in his heart were blocked. Every single vessel in his heart was blocked. Then I told him, how are you alive? So I saw the angiogram. I saw nature had done a lot of bypass already, that's called collateral. So I told him, you don't have to have anything. You just be happy, you will be happy, and you will live as long as you live. 
But his children thought, they said, oh, this village doctor, they're all in New York, you see. They, this village doctor doesn't know, we'll take our dad to America. So they took him there. So they took him to the Mayo Clinic and then told the Mayo Clinic doctor, see, this, uh, this is our father, this is what happened, this is what the doctor said. The doctor examined him and then looked at the angiograms and said, ask your dad to go home. And he was a Catholic, you know, enjoys a peg of whiskey. Ask him to have a peg of whiskey at night and enjoy life. He will now, nothing, nothing will happen to him. He doesn't require anything. So he came back. Do you know how old he is? 97 now, 97. And if you can see him in Mangalore roads, because he came and told me about a year ago, I feel bored, what do I do? So I told him, okay, I'll talk to the police people. You be the traffic warden. Instead of sitting at home, you sit, stand in Hampankatta, there's a center of Mangalore, and drive the traffic. So now you can see this old man, 97-year-old man, standing in the road, main road, driving, directing traffic. And he, the police have given him a uniform. So he is very happy about it, and he will not die for some more time. So happiness keeps you alive. He did not have one block. Every vessel was blocked. Remember that every vessel was blocked. But nature does a lot of bypasses. This is what I want to tell you. One thing you must remember. Another fact is your own body is built to last when it is first built and sent here. The maker, whoever he is, if you believe in God, you call it God. If you believe in nature, you call it as nature. Whoever made it, made it in such a way that put a repair system also inside. You know, many garages have a repair system, repair a shed. So that's called the immune system. And the immune system is ingrained, inculcated into the body and inbuilt in the body so that whatever happens, the immune system will heal. Now, even if a surgeon does an operation, healing is done by the immune system. You see that? My former chief in Harvard, who is a Nobel laureate, did a very interesting study when I was a student there in the 90s. He had, we had about 600 patients sent up for bypass surgery from various doctors in the Massachusetts area. And he had a team of scientists and they found none of them, none of them, mark my words, none of them needed bypass surgery. So he devised a study to show how interesting it is. So at random, he had three theaters, theater A, theater See, in theater A, he said, you send the patient in, simply send the patient in, don't tell anything. You anesthetize the patient and operate, and then send him out. Theater B, you send the patient in, you anesthetize the patient, make him lie down, sleep for one hour, two hours, wake him up, and when he wakes up, tell him he is fine, and send him away. Theater number three, don't do nothing, but when he comes, you say, your heart is fine, and send him away. And now, after 10 years, looking back, theater three, everybody is fine. Theater B, most of them are fine. Theater A, half of them are dead. The other half are in the, in the still, you know, having suffering from drugs and various other things. So, what is important is your mind. If you believe you are fine, you are fine, and your body heals so beautifully, and it does it himself. You see, you have a cut. You just watch the cut. Within two or three days, the cut starts getting healed. And the fourth or fifth day, the skin completely heals. Fifth or sixth day, the, the debris comes out. And the seventh or eighth day, you don't even see the scar. All this is because the body has got a mechanism which corrects itself. 